Hi guys, this is Shivardi. Welcome to the Sonar Cube tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain how to get the code coverage report in Sonar Cube using the Jacko plugin. Code coverage is represents the how much of your code is covered under either unit test cases or the integration test cases. In order to uh, provide a strong uh, application, uh, um, application from the development perspective, it is recommended that we need to have a good code coverage report, uh, good code coverage report, so that so next release cycle will have the uh, faster release cycle you can plan because most of the uh, most of the functionality you are going to develop will have the both the unit and uh, integration test cases so the next um, release cycles will have the less time period that means you can you can deliver the releases faster as long as you have the code um, coverage in a good shape Hence, it is very important uh, to find out uh, find out code coverage report for your application. But what happens is whenever you are working with the Sonar Cube and uh, you work with uh, any type of uh, build tools like uh, Ant or Gradle or um, uh, Mavin, uh, you have the Sonar uh, Sonar Cube scanners, and then you can analyze your source code of using this Sonar uh, Sonar uh, scanner and you can find out the uh, what are the um, on-fly feedback for the uh, code quality issues but even code uh, but uh, sonar cube will also have an option to show you the code coverage for the particular report for example if you click on any project you have an option for the code coverage but what happens is by default uh, sonar cube does not provide the uh, code coverage report in build Hence, you have to uh, go ahead and add a few of the configuration changes and you need to provide some plugins so that SonarCube uh, identifies, uh, um, identifies the code coverage report generated by those plugins and then that will be shown as part of the SonarCube analysis uh, when you go with this, uh, when you open any particular project. So in this session, I am going to explain how you can get the SonarCube, um, uh, how, how you can get the code coverage report in SonarCube using the Jacko plugin. So Jacko plugin is a one of the um, plugin which is going to help you to pro, uh, help you to generate the code coverage report. And once you add this code uh, Jacko plugin to your uh, Gradle project, then uh, when you are building your project, automatically it is going to take in care of uh, uh, generating the code coverage report. And uh, once you have generated using the Java uh, Jacko plugin, then SonarCube auto uh, the when you uh, run through the scan Sonar scanner using the uh, Gradle scripts, then that report will be sent to the SonarCube, and you can find out here. So in this session, I am going to explain in, in detail about how you can add those plugin and you can get the code coverage report out, it, uh, out of it. Okay, now I am going to open my Eclipse. In my Eclipse, I have in a project of, uh, called as a Gradle Sonar. Okay, and now I have in this uh, project, I have one class that is the library. In this, we have two methods. One is some uh, library method. It is the default method which comes off it. And then I have written one as a uncovered test. And if, <coughs> sorry. Now, if you go to um, the test uh, Java, then you have the library test class, which is going to provide only one test method for the test something library method. And uh, it does, okay. So it has the some, uh, it has the unit test case for the method, some library method, which is defined in the library dot java and i have i have one more um, method in the library which is which does not have the te uh, uh, test for this method so now what happens is now i am going to use the jacko plugin to generate the code coverage report and then the same thing will be published in the uh, same thing will be published in the sonar cube saying this much type uh, this much percentage of the uh, uh, code is covered under the test cases so in order to um, in order to pro in order to provide the plugin what you need to do is you need to go to the uh, build uh, build dot gradle file where in the plugins what you need to do is you need to add in plugin called as a id equal to id space and you need to provide a one plugin called as a jacko once you provide the jacko in the sonar cube um, uh, in the task we can call as a task you can provide the whatever the properties for this um, uh, particular project. 
here i am renaming this project a uh, name to jacoco code coverage demo and sonar cube project key i am um, i'm giving as a arc dot sonar cube colon jacoco code coverage and here one important property you need to add for this jacoco uh, to generate this report is this one what you need to provide is sonar dot jacoco dot report path comma you need to give the project build path and where this needs to be uh, uh, available like uh, this test.exe is a file where it is going to generate that uh, report okay and then i am also adding a one more task test and whenever i am executing the um, whenever i am executing the test cases if anything fails still i don't i want status as a build success hence i am saying like ignore failures as a true and the remaining is as it is so it is my previous project where uh, you have just defined the repositories as a j center and the dependencies uh, needs to be taken care of uh, one is test compile j init um, colon j init 4.12 this is one of the dependency because now i am trying to execute the unit test cases whatever it is available in this project okay so this is the basic um, configuration you need to uh, take in care when you are trying to add jacoco plugin now what happens is when you run this brand, uh, when you run this project uh, using this um, uh, build gradle then what happens is it is going to identify what is the plugin we added for this code coverage as a jacoco and using this a jacoco agent will uh, java agent will go through all your classes and then identifies whatever the test cases you have written and it will execute against the source code against these test cases and it is going to provide the uh, uh, code coverage report once this uh, 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 gradle has completed this sonar cube um, analysis this report will be this sonar sorry sonar scanner gone through all your source code files now this report will be sent to the sonar cube server now in order to execute this uh, um, project uh, execute this uh, um, project you need to go to the command prompt i already uh, up my uh, local um, sonar cube server now what i need to do is i need to execute this project so in order to execute uh, the in, in order to uh, execute the sonar um, scanner for the gradle this is the command so gradle sonar cube space dash shona dot host dot url and you need to provide the uh, the server url for the sonar cube server in my case it is running in the uh, server called local host 9000 oh, uh, 9000 this is my uh, local uh, my uh, sonar cube server which is running in local so i am providing the same path now once you uh, enter now what happens is you can see the steps involved while executing this uh, gradle um, gradle sonar cube what it do is first it is going to identify the dependencies and then it will try to execute the each dependency as we are added the jacoco uh, plugin for this uh, um, project now what it will do is it will try to compile the test java and then whatever the test case it is there it is going to be executed the test cases and then it and then it is going to provide the report uh, that means uh, the sonar scanner will analyze the source code and uh, along with the code coverage once that completes that report will be sent to the sonar cube server for the further processing okay now it is almost uh, now it is running the final stage of the sonar cube once this completes then you can we can see this project is available in our sonar cube server so in order to see that go to the uh, home page and here you can see the new project it is not it came here so let us refresh once again because once sonar scanner analyze the source code of your project and send the report to it it takes some time to update here so now if you see here the code coverage report for java colon code coverage demo when you click on it the project now go to the code coverage session here you can see that what is the code coverage of your project 
in uh, in my case i have a only one class where i define two classes in the main uh, two methods in the class one i have the test case another one it does not uh, it does not have the test case hence what it is saying is it has covered the 60 percentage of the i get the 60 percentage of the code coverage for my project when i click on it you can still see that what is the percentage of the um, which it lines of it is not comes under the uh, covered under the unit test cases and uh, which it has covered for example if you open the library.java here you can see green uh, the green symbol is representing the fully covered by the unit test cases and if you see the red um, symbol it's saying like not covered by the unit test cases now what you can do is now go to the library test uh, here and you can write one more method like um, one more uh, test uh, class one more test uh, one more uh, test case test something library two and you can call another method whatever we have uh, um, another method is what the method i have written is uncovered test method uncover test method now again if i run this uh, uh, run this uh, gradle um, when i build a gradle project once again now what happens is we already provided the um, uh, unit test case for the both the methods uh, um, both the methods now we can see that code coverage report as a hundred percentage so let us wait for to come um, build this uh, project now again what happens is the sona scanner for the gradle will keep on going all the source files and it will analyze it along with the uh, whatever the quality code quality issues will come along with that using this jacoco plugin it is going to scan uh, all your um, source code against the test cases and it is going to provide the code coverage report so let us see once this completes uh, we can see the report uh, uh, for this project as um, code coverage will be in the 100 percentage let us wait for to complete okay so build is successful now again if we go to the home page in a cube and uh, again if we click on java code coverage demo and go to code coverage here you can see 100 percentage so this is how uh, the java core plugin works uh, to provide you the code coverage report so once again i am highlighting what what are the steps we need to take in care of it in case of it, if you are Maven or the Ant or the Build script, the corresponding Jacoco plugin, uh, Jacoco plugin or the corresponding libraries needs to be added. In the in the case of Build Gradle, just add a plugin as a Jacoco. And one more important part, property we need to add is the Sonar dot Jacoco dot report path, where you need to specify the path to execute uh, provide this report uh, the results of it. Once you provide it, you need to provide the test, which is going to test against the test cases, whatever you are providing in your source uh, code of the project. And then it will start analyzing. First one is Sonar Scanner will go through all the um, your files, identify whatever the code quality issues are there. And second one is as you added the Jacoco plugin, it also generated the code coverage report for you and both will be sent to the Sonar Cube server for the further processing. Once you come to the Sonar Cube server, you can identify that what is the lines of what is the code coverage. When you click on this code coverage, it is going to provide you the where what are the lines which lines of the code it is not covered and which is it is covered. So that you can take the necessary action of it. Hope you are clear with the concept of code coverage report, getting the code coverage report in Sonar Cube using the Jacoco plugin. If I have any questions, please comment on my YouTube video. Thanks for watching.